In this recording, we shall look at integrating rational functions of the form a divided by bx plus c with respect to x. So a, b and c are constants here. So that we're basically integrating a constant divided by a linear function to get the required rational function. So looking at how we approach this, integral of a divided by bx plus c dx now because a is a constant, that could be taken outside the integral sign because effectively this is the integral of a multiplied by 1 divided by bx plus c dx. So we can simply rewrite it in this form. Now integrating 1 divided by bx plus c what we can do is a substitution here. So let's have u, let's say, equal to bx plus c. Then if we're going to replace this with u, everything else will need to also be in terms of u and du. So that gives us du dx equals b. And rearranging this gives du equal to b dx. So if we rewrite this to see what dx looks like, that means we need to divide both sides by b, so that dx is 1 divided by b du. And now substituting in this expression for u and this expression here in terms of du, the integral is rewritten as a times the integral of 1 divided by u times 1 on b du. Now 1 on b is a constant so again that can be taken outside the integral sign to give a times 1 over b which is just a divided by b times the integral of 1 on u du. Integral of 1 on u is just the natural log of the absolute value of u plus a constant. And normally we would call a constant c, but I'll just call that another name here, k let's say, since we already had a c in our original expression. So a divided by b times natural log of absolute value of u plus arbitrary constant k. And finally, remembering that u in fact was equal to bx plus c, Substituting that back in, we get a divided by b times the natural log bx plus c plus a constant. So that is the integral of what we started with, a divided by bx plus c with respect to x. So let's now look at a specific example with specific numbers in it. Finding the integral of 3 divided by 2x plus 5 with respect to x. So the first step is, again, it has a constant on the numerator, 3 in this case. So we take that outside the integral sign to get 3 times the integral of 1 divided by 2x plus 5 dx. The next step then is we want to replace the denominator here, 2x plus 5, with u. So we let u equal 2x plus 5, but once again, if we're rewriting that in terms of u, dx needs to be replaced with an expression in terms of du. So differentiating u, we get du dx equals 2. Rearranging, we get du is 2 dx. And hence, dx can be replaced with a half du. So looking at our original expression then, that becomes 3 times the integral of 1 divided by u and dx is replaced with a half du. The half can then be taken outside the integral sign so that outside the integral sign we have 3 times a half which is 3 divided by 2 and that's multiplied by the integral 1 on u du which again is now just a standard integral so that that just becomes replaced with natural log of the absolute value of u plus a constant 
and since my original expression did not contain c, I'm just going to name that constant c here. And finally, we rewrite u, which was 2x plus 5. So we get 3 divided by 2, natural log of the absolute value of 2x plus 5, plus constant c. So that is another example of how we can integrate rational functions where the numerator is a constant and the denominator is a linear function.